do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy. Go by too bad. <laughs> So we back with another big body banger. You feel me? Listen, we back with another reaction video today. Somebody sent me this video. His, his Instagram at handle is at king underscore bond two ninety. Appreciate you for sending me this. But apparently, this is the, the scariest animal home invasions. Now, um, me personally, now in my old house when I used to live with my parents, bats used to always come in the house. I remember one time. Uh, it was me, I was a little kid, probably like seven, eight, something like that, and I had my little sister, my little sister was there, then all my other brothers, like my older brothers, right? We was all watching Batman. We had a movie room in our, in our house, right? We had the projector, everything like that. So we were watching Batman. All of a sudden, we see like a bat flying around, and um, we're like, yo, why is there just, we watch a Batman, so we're like, oh, this, why is there just one single bat like flying around during us watching Batman? Come to find out, it was a bat in there. My little sister was in a little cart, the carry thing. She was in like a seat on the floor. She couldn't walk. She was a little, little baby. So me and my brothers, we split out the room. We seen the bat. We ran out the room. You feel me? We was not staying there for nothing. Because it's a bat. You know bats kill people. Well, that's what I thought in my head. I don't Do bats kill people? I don't know. But we ended up leaving my little sister in there and going to tell my mom that there's a bat in there. And she ended up getting very, very upset with us that we left the um, our little sister there. And she ended up beating us badly. But um, um, that's been like the only real animal invasion. But on this thumbnail, I'm seeing snakes and tigers and lions. So um, we finna watch this real quick. But before we get into the video, you see I have it in my hand, man. You want this? It's sexy. You need this. Joy.com, same by two, third, free, but I'm six, seven, eight. We got the best do rags in the entire world. If you're a waiver, if you're trying to become a waiver, if you're trying to cover your ugly hairline, if you got braids and need to lay them down, ladies, you need to lay your edges down. That's if you're using this to lay her edges down. Laying your hair down, whatever it is, get yourself a Jew rag. They the best. They got the best quality, the best designs. We just the goats out here, you know what I'm saying? If you a waiver, we got something special for you. We got a brush. Wave creator brush. Wavecreator.com, you know what I'm saying? Listen. Best brushes in the game, help you create waves, help you pull your hair back, ladies, if you need to do a, if you need to do a ponytail. You feel me? Brush your back. It's gonna make your hair real smooky, smooky, slim. You feel me? Smooky, slim. That's a new word. Silky, smooth, and clean. All put together. Smooky, slim. Now I'm saying. But without further ado, let's just get right into this later video right now because it's gonna be a bagger. Hi, it's Katrina. What's up, Katrina? Snakes in the shower to a mountain lion on the sofa. Here are ten of the scariest animals oh, the heck? found in their homes. Hey, this music. Jump. Hold on. Origins explained. Python. While listening to music one night in July 2018, Stuart Saunders, a blind man who lives in Exeter, UK, heard a crash in his bathroom. Pause. There's two things wrong with this, right? Blind, blasting music. You only got like your other sense, which is the hearing. So if somebody coming to kill you, how do you go block your ears out with blasting music? You blind, you can't see somebody come and kill you. Now you just, you can't hear them either? You supposed to taste them before they kill you? Huh? You supposed to taste, like come on man, you gotta be smarter. Put one ear pod in one ear, then have the other one open so you can hear something. He went in there to investigate and kept hearing things falling in there. He repeatedly tried picking up what he thought was a foam pipe, assuming that the wind from the nearby window had knocked everything over. But it wasn't tubing or a pipe at all. Wait, what? It was a gigantic snake. Stewart, who was born blind, told the son, I went forward and picked it up, but it was too heavy. I rang my support worker on the intercom and said, I've got a bit of a mess, and over they came. The home care aide entered the room to find that the object Stewart was trying to grasp was no harmless home construction material, but an eight-foot-long python. Oh, yeah, you lost me right there. You lost to me. You lost, you telling me this blind man was talking about some, what is over here, falling on the floor, grabs it, that's a weird feeling tube. Uh, too heavy to pick up. Why that tube bite me? Why is the tube wrapping around my neck and suffocating? This tube is weird. It's putting his whole head over my body. What's going? Like you tell no, man. No, this is this is scary. It's believed the massive reptile had made its way into the 60-year-old man's home by slithering up his toilet. Ain't no way. The, the toilet. Wait, wait, wait. Pause, 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 pause. Snakes can come up your toilet. Wait a second, wait, let me Google this, cause ain't no way I could be taking a poop and a snake come over here biting my ball sack? Ain't no way. Can snakes come up the, t and an eight foot long snake? Yes? Snakes can come up the toilet? What? They come up the toilet cause it's damp and cold? What? What? 
Wait, wait, wait. I'm never taking a poop again. What? Wait, wait, wait. So I could be sitting down on the toilet taking a dookie doo, not saying relieving myself on TikTok scrolling, know what I'm saying watching TikTok laughing, and all of a sudden, it's on my ball sack. Man, that's what you're telling me could happen? Why is this not like a publicly said thing? Like, why does everybody not know that snakes can come up your toilet, man? Come up your toilet and slither. Mm. Ain't no way. An eight foot one, though. I can understand like a tiny one, but this eight foot mother. Huh? How was. My poop can't even flush down the toilet without it getting clogged up. How does this big old thing make it up there, man? In order to capture this super sized serpent. When all was said and done, Stewart seemed more annoyed than terrified, stating it left the bathroom in an awful mess with gunned on the wall. The whole bathroom has to be deep cleaned. It is still a bit of a mystery as to how the snake appeared in his bathroom. Speaking of which, in Thailand, a man was using the bathroom at his restaurant when a giant snake smashed through the ceiling, hanging down and swinging. That's it. Ain't, ain't no way that's real. That big old thing. That's nah. Ain't no way that's real. Ain't no way that's real. That's Photoshop, huh? That gotta be Photoshop. Ain't no way that. Big, wait, how does a snake crash through the, the ceiling though? What if a snake just crashed through the ceiling right now, just landing on my head? What am I doing? At that point, I think I die. I think you, at that point, you just be like, okay, God, this is it. Like, out of all the ways you want to take, this is the way? You could have just, like, let me gracefully in my sleep? You want to put a snake on my head and make the man eat me? ...in search of food, like some creepy chandelier. It was also a python, and while usually these snakes are harmless, if they catch you sleeping or off guard, they could squeeze you to death. While this wasn't in his home per se, it looks like you just never know when an eight-foot python will pop up. Product research is hard. How do you sort through millions I don't, of products okay. and find one to sell? Let me let me just clarify something real quick. I'm not scared of snakes. I'm not. Like, if I see a snake, I could pick the snake well like a pet snake. I'm not talking about like in the wild. I'm not freaking the Tarzan dude on Instagram. I, if I see a snake in the wild, I'm avoiding it. I'm not like, oh my god, a snake one! You feel me? And my brother has a snake, so I, I'll pick the snake up and I'll say, I'll, it'll wrap around my arm or anything like that. But an eight foot motherfucking snake, huh? Nah, it's not happening. Number nine, massive that was black only bear. Black. When <laughs> Vance Hopkins of South Lake Tahoe, California discovered a massive black bear beneath his porch, he did the exact opposite of what most people would do. He went outside to investigate with camera in hand. He approached the bear coming within feet of the gargantuan creature who looked both stunned and nervous. Not surprisingly, the bear lunged forward, not once, but twice. At that point, Hopkins evidently came to his senses and climbed the stairs leading up to the deck. He yes, okay, so people are stupid. People are literally the definition of stupid. Me, we have a house in Pennsylvania, right? My parents, they have a house in Pennsylvania. My parents are actually there right now. This morning, they sent me a video of a big old black bear on like our driveway or whatever like that. Um, I'm trying to see if I can pull up the video, but like, Ain't no way my parents was going out there and looking at it, right? There's no way it's going close up to it. I'm like, oh, look at the bear. It's so nice. Like, come on, man. You just hate your life? Do you hate your life, then man? Then pounded on the wood above the bear's head to scare it away. Naturally, the bear fled from beneath the porch. But Why before running his away, butt? he stopped and went to the bathroom in Hopkins' yard, perhaps as a way to get the last word in. Initially, there was some confusion regarding whether the offending creature was a brown or a black bear. It was a very large black bear, which is fortunate for Hopkins as they are far less likely to attack a human than brown bears. Generally speaking, black bears mock charge at people in hopes of scaring them away before resorting to actual physical aggression. Don't recommend getting up close and personal with bears under your house, but hey. Number 8. Mountain Lions One day in 2018, Ashland, Oregon resident Lauren Taylor came home to find a mountain lion peacefully napping behind her living room sofa. She left the animal alone and the door open, hoping it would wake up and leave. Her house must be really comfortable and relaxing. Okay, what was going on through this this, this cat's head, man? Like, what was going on? Like, he, he gets into a house. If I'm a cat, and most of the time, if like any animal, I've seen like animals going to people's houses. They be scared. They don't want to be in there. They, they trying to get out. They be confused and scared. How does mother, how does mother go fall asleep? How does, how does mother sucker go fall asleep? Huh? And the lady just leave the door open. Man, you know what I would have done? Come here, little baby. You feel me? I would have pet this y'all. I like cats, man. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. I would have tried to pet it. I ain't even gonna hold y'all, man. The cat continued sleeping for another six hours, but eventually woke up and left as Lauren had hoped. She six hours? She sent a Facebook post that she believes a mountain lion entered through an open door after drinking from a pond in her yard. 
Then the woman's roommate had discovered the animal mm. and screamed, scaring the cat into the house and prompting it to hide behind the couch and take a snooze. Lauren took a different approach, remaining as calm as possible until the mountain lion left the home. In regions where mountain lions are known to live, scenarios like this are not too unusual. In 2019, a family found one of the big cats lounging in their Northern California home in the Sierra Nevada foothills. The animal entered while the family was home, busting through their screen door and making its way into the bathroom where it decided to take a nap. The family sought shelter in the basement and summoned authorities who broke through the bathroom window and coaxed the mountain lion out of the home. And now for number seven. But first, have you ever found a wild animal in your home? Yeah, I just explained. I told, I literally just told him Catherine. That was her name, right? Catherine? Whatever it was. K-girl. I just told him before about the bat that was in my house. It's kind of like the same as like with the lion and stuff like that. I handled it very calm. You feel me? I was really calm about it. I was like, hey, bat, get up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let me know in the comments below. I did. And while I did. It, be sure to subscribe if okay. you here. Okay. I found a scorpion and a mouse before, and my mom found a six foot bull snake and just took it outside. Number seven, spiders by the thou. What? I found a six foot bull snake and just. Er, I found a scorpion and a mouse before, and my mom found a six foot bull snake and just took it outside. Your mom found a six foot snake. And you kick it outside? Huh? What's your mom? What's your, what's your mom into, huh? What's your, what type of weird stuff your mom? Just to take it outside. Just take it outside. What? Number seven. Spiders by the thousands. In late 2014, oh, a massive God. venomous spider infestation forced a suburban St. Louis, Missouri family from their upscale home. The creepy crawlers laid siege to the house, pouring in from the ceiling and covering the walls like some sort of horrifying arachnophobia movie. Homeowners Susan and Brian Tross had purchased the $450,000 home on a fancy golf course seven years earlier. Not long after that, brown recluse spiders began appearing in disturbing numbers. Brown recluse spiders are very venomous, and if they bite you, the site will turn red and blister, followed by potential tissue death. If not treated, the necrotic tissue will spread, causing infection and other serious complications. Pets and children are especially vulnerable. And the worst thing is, you might not even feel if one bites you. Hey, bro, I cannot do this. Who's calling my phone right now, man? My grandma calling my phone right now. Hold on. Give me, give me a sec. Everything's just going wrong. Give me a sec. They said you can't even feel it bite you. How the heck am I supposed to know if I'm dying or not? If I all of a sudden just get a red dot, I'm gonna be like, oh, it's just a little pimple. Until that pimple's cutting my whole hand off. So stupid. Especially if you are sleeping. Yeah, that's Similar all I'm saying. Susan Tross said that by 2012, they started bleeding out of the walls. By then, the couple had filed an insurance claim and filed a lawsuit against the previous homeowners for not telling them about the problem. Jamal Sandage, one of the nation's top brown recluse experts, estimated the number of spiders in the home at somewhere between 4,500 and 6,000 during the winter, when the creatures are least active. So imagine in the summer. The trust won their lawsuit but failed to receive compensation from both the previous homeowners and their insurance company. They ultimately had no other choice than to cut their losses and move out to escape the venomous spiders. It wasn't until two years later that the Federal National Mortgage Association finally covered the home with nine tarps and filled it with gas to permeate the walls and kill anything crawling around once and for all. Whoever buys that house next hopefully gets a good deal because it seems like it has some bad energy. Yeah, I ain't buying that piece of crap. You lost me there. What type of ads do these things? Do these be the same ads y'all be getting on my videos? Don't be when I when my ads come on my video, don't skip it. I was just showing y'all what not to do. When I skip the ads, I'm showing y'all what not to do. Y'all gotta watch the whole ad through. Click on all the links. Do what they tell you to do, man. Cop, buy their stuff, whatever it is, and then come back to my video. You know? Number six, gigantic alligator. A Clearwater, Florida family received Clearwater. That's right down the street. When a household member woke up for a midnight snack and discovered an 11 foot long alligator. Do you know how big 11 feet is? How did that get in the motherfucking house? In their kitchen. CBS reported that the creature had busted in through a low kitchen window and knocked over the dining table and chairs. Yikes, just busted in and made itself at home. The panicked homeowner called police who sent a professional trapper to the scene. Thankfully, the gigantic gator was captured without incident or injury, according Yo, to police. Yeah, what type of what type of animation? Hold on. Hold, on, hold on, watch the animation. What is this animation, a man? Professional trapper to the scene. Thankfully, the gigantic gator was captured without incident or injury, according to police. 
who posted images of the reptile sticking its head through the broken window it entered the home through, as well as the mess the creature made in the kitchen. Oh, I'm so tired, I'm yawning. Is that like a side effect of the red, the red spider thing? Because I ain't feel no pain. Exactly what inside the home tempted the alligator to the point where it was willing to smash through glass is unclear. But this was far from the first time Floridians have found gators in terrifyingly close proximity. I mean, it is Florida after all. A month earlier, an alligator went for a swim in a Sarasota family swimming pool in the middle of the night. In 2017, an 800 pound alligator appeared on a Lakeland, Florida golf course, shocking residents with his enormous size. Pictures and videos of the massive 12 foot long creature went viral, earning him the nickname Mr. Humpback. Jack Hanna, an alligator expert and director emeritus of the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium, told CBS that people should remain at least 40 to 50 feet away from alligators when possible. But as these examples show, doing so is not always possible. If one breaks into your home, get out of there as quickly as you can and take your cell phone with you so you can call for help. Number five. Why does she just get so aggressive? Get out of there and take your cell phone with you so you can call for help. Your home, get out of there as quickly as you can and take your cell phone with you so you can call for help. <laughs> Number five, rabbit bats. <laughs> Rabies is almost always dead. Wait, rabbit there what? There are only a handful of verified cases of humans surviving this terrifying disease. When someone is bitten by a rabbit animal, they have a very limited amount of time to receive treatment to prevent a rabies infection. And once that happens, it's most likely too late to save their life. This Wait. deadly virus causes tortuous symptoms, including excessive drooling, hallucinations, insomnia, hyperactivity, and an inability to swallow, which progressively worsen until the patient dies. Experts highly recommend avoiding animals that are most likely to spread rabies, including bats, foxes, raccoons. Bats got rabies? So the bat that was in my house? I left my sister with a... That was bad, huh? Now that I'm thinking about it. Nobody thought to pick her up and run out the room. It was just like, off of you. Okay. Coons, skunks, and coyotes, according to the Mayo Clinic. But sometimes they are hard to avoid, especially if they get into your house. This was the case last October when a bat made its way into a Lewiston, Maine residence. The homeowner quickly called Animal Control, who seized it and tested it for rabies. The results were positive. Police did not elaborate on whether the bat bit the resident, but they warned the public to be vigilant about bats and to consult with a medical professional if they think they have come into close contact with one. <laughs> Number four. Wait, the bat what? They have rabies? Wait, uh, the, wait, a lot of bats have rabies or it's just like some of them? Like, I, I seen a, I think I seen like a raccoon with rabies or something like that. But I, I, most of the time I don't see them, like they rare. Is the bat with, what? Cause that bat that was in my, I mean a bat been in our house like four times, I ain't even know, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. We've had a bat in our house like four times. I don't know where the bats be coming from, but the bats be in there and they got rabies? Pregnant rattlesnake. <laughs> Social media users panicked in mass last August when Rattlesnake Solutions, a Phoenix based pest control service, posted a picture of a gigantic snake it removed from beneath the bed of a panicked couple. Most calls that the company receives of people screaming rattlesnake in the house turn out to be night snakes, but this was an exception. The reptile beneath the homeowner's bed was indeed a western diamondback rattlesnake. While night snakes are harmless to humans, western diamondbacks are highly venomous and dangerous. Mitchell Hawkins, who responded to the call, was not only surprised by the snake's species, but to realize that she was also pregnant. He told the San Luis Obispo Tribune that the creature was in a defensive mood and that she was unusually large for snakes found in Arizona, measuring around five feet long. Thankfully, Hawkins had an easy time removing the snake from the home while the homeowners waited cautiously on their patio. Using snake tongs, he gently retrieved the reptile, placed her into a bucket, and released her back into the wild. Snakes are not aggressive, Hawkins explained, adding they are defensive when they feel threatened, and rightfully so. He added that most rattlesnakes end up in people's homes through an open door. So, ergo, lock your door, which you should do anyway. There's scarier things than snakes out there. How to make wait, easier wait, to find wait, 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 wait. How to get more views. So it was just under the bed? My bed doesn't have under on it, so I'm good. It got like clothes and stuff under it. Nothing. So it's not like there's not nothing under the bed. But they was clapping, right? 
I keep yawning. I think that's a side effect of the bug or something like that. What's wrong with me? I need red mics. But anyways, they was clapping right on the bed. Having a good old time. Yeah, oh my god, oh my god, this is great. This is the best day ever. All of a sudden, they hear rattlesnake kills the vibe. Almost kills the people. Rattlesnake just there chilling. And it says it comes through doors. Who leaves their door open, first of all? Who leaves like their door cracked and nothing like that? Mostly, mostly like the home, like yeah, your front door, it got the automatic closer thing where you, it's gonna close automatically, right? Most doors got the spring in it where it's gonna close. Who leaves doors open? Number three, brown bear. Many people would probably agree that if a dangerous wild animal broke into their home, it would probably be best if they weren't there when it happened. One family lucked out last summer when their home surveillance camera captured footage of a brown bear breaking into their house. While it's unknown where the incident occurred, the video appeared on Ohio-based radio personality Jason Priestess' Twitter page amid a string of bear break-ins throughout North America. Priestess commented on how the bear used its paw to effortlessly break open the family's front door, saying this bear has done this before. Once inside, the giant mammal surveyed his surroundings. Thankfully, he was gone by the time the family returned home. Not everyone has been so lucky. Just a week or so earlier, Aspen, Colorado resident Dave Chernowski sustained serious facial injuries when he woke up to a grizzly bear in his kitchen. When the 54-year-old was released from the hospital a day later after receiving surgery, he told local news station KDVR that it appeared as if the bear knew exactly how to get in the front door. Referring to the animal as his worst nightmare, Chernowski described the moment the bear swiped him across the face, inflicting severe wounds. I ran back to a table at that point and luckily that was able to separate us. I just started screaming as loud as I could. I was very deep, loud, and he decided to go. He opened another door and was on his way out. He continued stating, I literally thought I might be dead. It was a pretty humbling moment because I realized how vulnerable I was. There was nothing I could do. See, you don't mess with no motherfucking beer. A be a beer? A bear. The bear, the bears be wearing like eight, weighing 800 pounds. I can't even talk right now. Imagine you wake up, right? Oh, I'm kind of thirsty. Walks to my kitchen, eyes crying and groggy, you feel me? You think you're dreaming. You see a bear, you're like, I ain't nowhere is the bear. I'm in my dream, I'm lucid dreaming right now. You gonna try and fight the bear because you're lucid dreaming. You know, when you're lucid dreaming, you be trying to like do like cool stuff like fighting bears and flying and stuff like that. It's like, oh, I'm lucid dreaming. Let me square up with this bear real quick. Ba -ba -ba. Oh, that kind of hurt. This dream seems real realistic. Oh, I think I'm dying. Is this a real, you know me? Like, you don't mess with no motherfucking bear. Bear? Fortunately, Why can't say bear? Was expected to make a full recovery. Due to the severity of the attack, Colorado Parks and Wildlife located and euthanized the bear. Number two, Ming the tiger. You may be surprised to learn that sometimes people don't find scary animals in their home by mm. chance. Sometimes people just invite them in. Such was the case in 2000 when Antoine Yates, a 31-year-old construction worker, brought an eight-week-old tiger cub into his Harlem apartment after purchasing. That's some. That's something I would do. That is, I need for call this man stupid. That's something I would do. I would get a tiger. I would. I would win a lion. But if they all out of lions, I'll get a tiger. Seeing the animal in racing Minnesota. Why? Just why? The Siberian Bengal mix named Ming grew quickly, reaching 425 pounds. Yeah, that's scary. He was three years old. He apparently became too big for his owner to manage when in 2003, Yates went to an emergency room with animal bites on his arm and leg. The man told doctors that his pit bull had bitten him, but his injuries told another story to medical personnel who thought the bites looked like they had been inflicted by a much larger creature. Acting on a tip shortly thereafter, NYPD officers visited Yates' apartment to investigate. They heard growling from behind the front door and were afraid to enter. Instead, they drilled a hole in a neighbor's wall and inserted a camera into the residence, at which point they discovered me. Meanwhile, an officer approached the apartment from outside and shot me with a tranquilizer dart while the tiger charged at him, breaking a window in the process. Inside, police found other exotic animals, including an alligator. Okay, this man's stupid. I would not get an alligator. This man is literally stupid. Okay, tiger, cool, boom. But once the tiger is so big, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna realize, oh, this is a, this is a tiger. I don't want this in my house no more. So then again, an alligator in an apartment. Neighbors have complained to authorities numerous times over the years about urine odors coming from Yates's home and of the man keeping large exotic animals there. Yet the problem went unaddressed until then. How the heck did he keep this a secret for so long? He was relocated to a sanctuary in Ohio where he passed away in 2019. 
Meanwhile, Yates, who told the New York Times that Big R.I.P.'s in the chat right now. Big R.I.P.'s in the mother chat for Ying, Ming, whatever the heck his name is. Yeah, had a passion for animals and had purchased Ming as part of his vision of someday opening a sanctuary, pleaded guilty to reckless endangerment. He did three months at Rikers and Rikers? was for five years thereafter. Y'all know fact, Rikers is a scary place. Rikers is like one of the worst prisons in the freaking world, ain't it? I think so. It's really bad. It's in New York. It's like an island off of New York. He went to Rikers for having a tiger? That boy finna die. He, he probably died in jail. From owning animals during that time. Number one, deer. Let's face it, deer are cute and they seem innocent and harmless, but at the end of the day, they are still wild animals and they can grow to be pretty darn big. And while it's extremely rare for a deer to attack a human, simply being in one's path can prove to be dangerous. You're right. The video posted in 2016 speaks for itself. The footage shows the moment a deer charged through an open sliding glass door and into someone's home, knocking down a painting that nearly crashed into a little boy who was watching cartoons. Wildlife officials often warn the public not to feed deer because this tends to develop a sense of expectation and make them less fearful of humans, causing the animals to come dangerously close to us and making them more likely to attack. Not only do many people ignore this advice, some even mistakenly believe that it's a good idea to try domesticating wild deer. In 2015, a West Virginia man was fined $300 for keeping two deer as pets in his home, claiming he found one of them bleeding to death in his yard and nursed it back to health. Last year, a Colorado woman paid a what That actually happened. Again, at our Pennsylvania house, we had a deer. There was a deer there. I think the mother had left the deer or something like that. So it was a baby deer. We had a baby deer in the box, right? And then we were just like nursing it back to health. But then we was like, yo, we can't keep this thing. So we just put it outside. I actually don't remember what happened to it. I really don't. I don't did it. I don't know if it died or like the mother came back for it. It was something. I don't know where it is right now. Actually, I'm gonna call my parents after this and ask them. I don't remember what happened to that deer. One hundred dollar fine for luring a full grown buck and doe into her house with snacks. An act officials refer to as selfish and dangerous. Not to mention illegal. Thanks for watching. Okay, boom. <laughs> I keep yawning. I think it's the bug. I think I need to go to the doctor or something. I'm praying animals in the chat right now. But listen, y'all. Y'all let me know in the comments down below if there's any time an animal has come into y'all house. I told y'all a story about the bat. I got the deer for y'all. What else has came in our house? We had a mouse one time. The mouse came in and not Leo, but you know, I, I used to have two cats. They were brother and sister, Leo and Snow. Snow was the girl, right? We had a mouse in the house or a rat, whatever it was, and Snow killed it and put it at the bedside of my little sister as like a prize or something, I don't know what it was, but um, yeah, so we had mouse or rat, whatever it was. I think that's it, y'all let me know in the comments down below, I'm excited, I'm finna read through this comments. If y'all tell me good stories, like write the whole story down, I'm gonna heart it in the comments down below, I'll probably reply to it too. But that's the end of the video, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like right now, man, drewrat.com, you know what to do. Brushes, wavecreator.com, copy sell some heat. But um, yeah, I'm gonna see y'all. Hey yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline They choose I, cause I'm way above you The waves make the haters love you When the ladies come through